Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And I'm talking about the third stimulus package. The $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today we're talking about the $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill. Listen, we're a little bit more closer than we think. I know it seems like so much going on with the impeachment trial, so much going on with COVID-19 and the vaccinations, but some good news. We are a little bit more closer because because we do understand that President Biden is not backing down on what he wants for the American people, which is the $1,400 per person that he wants to give. Listen, the Republicans brought a um, like a counter offer or a different proposal. They want to give $1,000 instead of $1,400. $400 difference. Come on. Give the people $1,400. Okay. And this is how it's supposed to go. President Biden on Tuesday endorsed the House Democrat proposal to give $1,400 direct payments to everyone making $75,000 or less and the couples making $150,000 or less. But this is what this is what the GOP wants uh, or the Republican, you know, party wants. They want $1,000 and they want the per person to be $40,000. $40,000, which, and they want the couples to have 80000 So, you want to phase out if I make 40000 or less, I, I give me $1,000. If I'm married, I need to make $80,000, give me $1,000. Come on, people. We need to make this happen. With th these, this thing, um, what the GOP brought to the table, the Democrats did reject it. They rejected it. Biden said he is not backing down on the $1,400 that he wants to give in the stimulus. He simply says, yes, and I d did not elaborate when he asked to agree on the proposal according to the pool. And the White House spokesperson said later that Biden supports that there was a status in the negotiation point, which means he is open to the, um, the income. He is open to the negotiations of the income cap or the phase out cap. But he is not budging on the fourteen hundred. So if if and when, because we do believe that it will, uh, this bill will pass. If and when we are looking at um to everything to be done about March the fourteenth, we're looking for um this bill to come into place, and the House also wants to move with the uh, stimulus bill with the minimum wage increase and they want to do that with $15 an hour and I wonder what is going to happen with like the people that already makes 14 to 15 dollars an hour because now we got minimum wage at what seven is it 735 or 775 that is somewhere along in there let me um let me give uh let me see what it is right now for for my for my state and we can go okay right now it's 725 whoa whoa it's 725 in my state so 
I know, I know people that already make like $14 and $15 an hour. So I wonder, will it, will that, will their pay increase? Because they're already making the $14 and $15 an hour. But the house wants to move to put that minimum wage into, in with the packet as well. Democrats race to send the $1.9 trillion plan to President Biden's desk before the unemployment benefits lap is in, in, in March. All of this stuff, um, ends in March. The unemployment ends in March. The rent, uh, extension ends in March. So really they don't have a whole lot of time.